Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is your host, Hawk. Now, we got shot by Ocelot there and the key fell into the drainage disk, so we gotta get it. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and give the Colonel a call. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind detector? Yes, the mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. Well, that's good news. All right, cool. So let's go and equip this mine detector. Yeah. All right, cool. And uh, let's see. I want to go and equip the uh, C4 viewers. And, um, well, I'll show you here in just a second why. See that mouse right there? We're going to want to catch him here in a second. So, uh, now see how he runs away? Yeah, well, he runs away there and we, well, we can't do anything now, but if we place the C4 and, well blow it up right when he goes by, we'll be able to, uh, be able to catch him. Alright, and, uh, let's go over here. There's some, uh, chaff grenades here. Alright, cool, got those. And, uh, the other place that the rat likes to show up is, uh, is on over this way. Oh, and don't worry about the camera, it can't hit you. Can't hurt you. It just likes to make a lot of noise and get mad, but, yeah, no big deal. Alright, so, yeah, probably around, like, this area here. Yeah, yeah that's probably, that, that'll be enough. Okay, now that we did that, let's go search for that card key, shall we? And, uh, wow, there's a little red dot on our uh, radar there, so let's go do that. Now, oh, I missed the thing, I missed the stairs. Okay, now, when you go into the strange ditch, you're going to start losing health because, well, it's poisonous. Now, let's pick up that, oh, a bomb. Bummer, throw out the bomb. Throw it away, throw it away. All right, we throw the bomb and run away from it. And then we get a phone call from Master Miller. Snake. Did you find the key? No, it's not here. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch? Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. Haha, -ha, so now you know why I placed that C4, viewers. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that bomb just blew up there. Now let's look for the rat. Okay, he's not here right now. So, uh, let's see. Let's go on over this away. Let's see if he shows up over here. That stupid rat. And this camera's gonna see us, but no big deal. It can't hit us up here. You can't hurt me from here. Ha ha ha. Okay, no rat. Uh, bummer. Let's go back. He should, he'll show up either there or the, the first place that I showed you. Uh, let's head... Oh, missed the... can keep missing the stairs. Is he there? Yes, the rat is there, viewers. So, let's punch. And the rat gets blown up, and we find the card key. Yay! Alright, we got the pal key. Cool. Alright, now... Uh, so now we already know about how to use this pal key. So, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and equip my SOCOM, because there's a guard up there that I want to take out, and, uh, let's see, and when we want to go ahead and equip this PAL key, now I'm, oops, sorry, I was trying to get the ladder and I forgot there was a couple more C4s I need to blow up. Alright, well anyway, all my C4s are blown up now, cool. So, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and fast forward here, I'm fast forwarding viewers, because, uh, well, you don't need to see me get all the way back, do you? Every single time? Yeah, that's, that's no fun. All right, do do do, heading back. You guys have seen this a bunch of times. Now we get to this part, and there's a guard there, so let's wait for the guard to go around. All right, cool. The guard left, and the guard's out of earshot, so we can head on up in here now. And uh, let's see, before uh, we head in there, be careful because there are cameras, viewers, and you can go into alert mode. So you'll guess what I want to throw. I want to throw a chaff grenade. So throw a chaff grenade. Uh, go ahead and re-equip your SOCOM there. Or, you know what? Let's leave the chaff grenades on because we got to get out of here. Yeah. All right. And let's run over here to the terminal. Freeze the key. 
All right, viewers, throw your chaff grenade here before we leave. We need to go uh, freeze the key now. But those stupid cameras are still there, and, well, if they catch you, they'll close the door and the gas will come out, and, well, that's no fun for anybody. So, let's, let's see, where's my SOCOM? Where are you, SOCOM? Oh, there you are. All right, so cool, we got our SOCOM on. And, uh, let's see, we'll take that guard out on the way, uh, on the way back. So let's see, all right, going back in fast motion. So yeah, as soon as that guard comes into view here and bup, up, 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 shoot him, he's dead, cool. Get some Thomas bullets, eh, don't really need those. All right, so, and, and like I said, I'm going back in fast, uh, fast forward because you don't need to see, uh, you know, see me go all the way back. I, I feel like that's a waste of time for you guys. Um, I mean, it's not a waste of time for me because I still got to do it, but I figured if I put it in fast forward for you, uh, well, it's less video for you guys to watch and, uh, you know, you guys can get to the storylines quicker, so you're welcome. If you're mad about it, well, sorry. Uh, equip your chaff grenades, because uh, remember there's that room with all those gun cameras, and, well, nobody wants to die today, I'm assuming, so. Uh, let's see, throw your gun grenade, or gun grenade, throw your chaff grenade and get past the gun cameras. Be careful of those traps, and, uh, well, we get to come on in here. Now, there is one thing you do want to be careful of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, your rations will freeze there, so there's that. Um, basically, you just need to freeze your PAL key. So, uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and put this in fast forward. Um, well, because we're just waiting. All we, we just got to wait for the PAL key to freeze. That's it. Any time now. Um, I think it took me like... It didn't. I don't think it even took me like two, two or three minutes, I don't think. I think, I, I think it froze pretty quickly. But uh, I, I went to the bathroom while uh, while I was just letting it sit here, uh, and before I put it in fast forward there. So, nope, still not frozen. You'll know when it's frozen because it'll turn blue. So uh, let's see. Should be just about done. Yeah. All right. Cool. So now it's blue. All right. So it's frozen. So let's head on back. Oh, gotta put the car key. Bummer. And make sure you've got those chaff grenades again, viewers, because, well, you will die here. So, throw the chaff grenade, and... All right. And as we're going back, we'll just keep our chaff grenades equipped, because uh, we can get past the guard uh, going there. But coming back, I always take out the guard, just because... Uh, he's a pain in the butt, and I really just don't want to wait for him to walk by every time. There's no real good place to hide as he walks by, so it's just easier to take him out. So, yeah, on the way there, I wait for him to go around the uh, the around the window there, and when he goes around, uh, I just head on in. But on the way out, kill him, because well, who needs him? He shouldn't have sided with the evil people. All right, chaff grenade, of course, and all right. Now we head on in. Equip your uh, pal key. And, well, and then we get another little scene here. Pal code number two, confirm. Awaiting pal code number three. Okay, there goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. All right, so we got to warm the key. So throw your chaff grenade, and uh, I bet you can guess where we're going to go next, viewers. We're going to go back to that furnace where I told you we could have gotten the body armor if you hadn't already got it. Uh, let's see. We get past the, the key, or the, the cameras there, and we want to go ahead and equip our SOCOM. And again, I'm going to do this in fast forward because, well, you don't want to see me go all the way back in normal time you know that would be so boring oh cool we get a ration all right and we'll equip our chaff grenades because remember we got those gun cameras boo gun cameras boo you're no fun nobody likes you all right yeah i figured i would um i thought about just like cutting this out actually like getting back and then just cutting it out but then i was like eh, maybe you guys want to see the process maybe something changes and actually something does change um and i'll show you what it is here in just a second it's, it's, I mean, it's just a really, really slight change, but, uh, well, change nonetheless, so I figured, why not? Figured I'd show it to you guys. All right, cameras go crazy. And the traps, haha, <laughs> you're nothing for me, traps. All right, now, there are guards in here, so that's why I figured I'd show you going back all the way the process. 
So yeah, there's guards in there. Nothing to really worry about, but uh, well, there you are. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and take this elevator, which also takes a really long time, so it's another reason why I'd go ahead and put it in fast forward. Now, if you're playing this game, uh, well, you're doing all this in real time, and you realize, wow, this is really long and really annoying, so... Well, you're welcome for me putting it in fast forward for you viewers. You're welcome. All right. Now, I stopped the fast forward because we're going to get some dialogue here, viewers. So please enjoy. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, fox die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Oh man, we mightn't be infected with Fox Dye. That wouldn't be a very good, would it, viewers? Bummer. The more I hear about Naomi, the well, the happier I am, or less happy I am. Sorry, why would I be happy about being infected? No, I'm not happy at all, viewers. Boo! I'm angry. Boo! Now. Oh. And watch out for those stupid gun cameras, because gun cameras are stupid. Alright, and they're everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, go on up this elevator. And uh, once we get to the top of, uh, of this one, uh, we'll be at the furnace again. So, uh, shouldn't be too long for the key to start, uh, the key to start uh, burning. So, or I guess, does it burn or does it melt? Either way, like, you know, one thing that I've always thought about is, like, if the key has to be super hot to, like, change alloy, does that, like, burn your hand when you hold it? I figure it would, yeah. It should definitely burn your hand. Oh, well, Snake's got on gloves anyway, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter where you go, uh, as long as you're in the, um, in the area, I suppose. Yeah, you just gotta be in here, but uh, what I like to do is, uh, there's some guards there. So you see that guard? Yeah, he comes down these steps, so that's not something I really want to mess with. So let me just grab these, uh, these bullets here, and uh, let's see. Uh, just wait around a little bit. If he comes down, we can always hide, but I don't think he's gonna come down. I think it'll be alright. Um, actually, you know what I, I do want to show you, now that I think about it? Um, I want to, now that we got that, that level 7 card key, I want to go back. So actually what we should be doing is, is melting the card or burning the card or uh, I don't know what, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, we should be doing that, but let's see, I'm going to wait for him to go. I'm actually going to go back to those uh, snow fields, the snow fields. Remember where we, uh, where we beat Sniper Wolf? Yeah, I want to go back there. 
and uh, we got some chaff grenades here. And you don't have to worry about switching discs or anything like that, so don't worry. Alright, yay. Can't hurt me now, gun cameras. Alright, so now we're back here. Remember, there was a building right here that we couldn't get into before. Oh, and there's a little wolf running around too, so that's, there's that. And we got more gun cameras in here, and there's a lot of ammo viewers. So I figured I wanted to show this to you. Um, throw that, throw your chaff grenade. Alright, we head on in here, and there's stinger missiles, which I don't need viewers, but you may very well need those. Um, I guess I'll just spoil it for you. Uh, you need the stinger launcher for the uh, last fight, the last uh, boss battle. So, if you don't have full stinger um, missiles, just go ahead and get those there. Because there's all kinds of them that should fill you up. You should be all the way full with that. Alright, and so now that we've done that, uh, we can proceed with the storyline. And uh, we can actually proceed to um, heat this key up. So let's make this key really, really hot. All right, what's that, C4? Not that I need that. Let's see, there's a guard there. I want to avoid him because I don't want to get caught. So I'll crouch down just so that he can't see me. All righty. And okay, cool. He's, he should be gone. And you got you do have to be careful because uh, that bridge makes a noise there, so he might hear you. All right, and now the place that I like to go to to heat up this key, oh, it's already heated up, as you saw, but I like to come in here. Um, I don't need those PGS-1 bullets, but I picked them up. Uh, the reason why I like to come in here is because the guards don't go in there. So this is a really good place for you to thaw out your rations and a good place for you to wait for the key to uh, heat up. But the key's already heated up, so, well, moving on. All right, and we get to take this stupid elevator again. To think that they uh, they actually like took Metal Gear piece by piece by this elevator all the way down there to make that humongous thing, and they had to build it underground because it was super secret. Oh, well. anyway, uh, I think we might be getting another codec call here. I might be mistaken, viewers, but I think we are. No, sorry. I was mistaken, viewers. I'm very sorry. I'm a human as well. I make mistakes. But as I tell people, mistakes are the way you learn. Yeah. I made all kinds of mistakes when I was uh, videotaping this for you. When I, was, uh, when I was recording this gameplay. I made all sorts of mistakes, viewers. But you didn't see those. <laughs> but it made, well, made for a better walkthrough, I hope so. Yeah, made the mistakes, and then I, uh, then I recorded it again and didn't make those mistakes, so. Alright, anyway, now I'm definitely not making a mistake. We are going to be getting a, a call here in just a second, so as soon as that call comes, I'll shut up and let you guys enjoy the storyline, because the story starts to get, well, pretty juicy from here on. Let's see, it should be just about any time now, I think. Not yet, not yet. There we are. Alright, so I'll shut it, let you guys enjoy it. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. 
Your big brother. Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. 
Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Oh, man. That was, uh, that was pretty heavy, yeah, viewers? Bummer. All right, well, anyway, Colonel is right. We do need to, uh, we do need to stop Metal Gear, even though, well, looks like we've been double-crossed. Bummer. And you want to hurry up to this place, viewers. You don't want to lollygag around this way because, uh, well, these guards will catch you for one, and two, the card will go back to room temperature. So, uh, yeah, hurry your way through here. Oh, there's the rations are back. Cool, got those. Chaff grenade, dun-dun-dun. All right, and we made it all the way back. Yay. And I think this is a good place to go ahead and give Mei Ling a call. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Well, at least Mei Ling's gonna help us. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, viewers. And, uh, well, we'll try and figure this all out next time.